Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So let's answer a question that was put to me. I'm gonna read it right off the screen here. Hey Stefan, could you make a video talking about what coders can do for motivation, etc., to get back into coding after a long hiatus because of lengthy procrastinations, illness, mental health issues, or otherwise, if you haven't already? Well, 1,300 videos, so I'm not sure if I talked about this specifically in the past, maybe. I've actually been there where, well, not learning how to code, but when I was a coder, after a good solid block of six, six, seven years, eight years maybe, of like just living and breathing cold. I, I just loved it so much. I just got burnt out. And uh, this will happen. So first thing you might want to do is you might want to try avoid getting burnt out when you're writing code. So balance your life, pace yourself. Yes, sometimes you're going to have deadlines. You're going to have to work really hard to get things out. Yeah, that will happen. But in just your normal coding life, try to get out. As I mentioned in other videos, try to exercise. Try to exercise on a regular basis. Better to exercise three, four times a week lightly. Don't kill yourself, but lightly to get out of, get out of the house, get out of the office, do some physical activity, get the blood pumping. It's going to help you with your cognitive capabilities anyhow. And having a more balanced lifestyle, not just living and breathing coding and programming, is going to actually uh, make you a better developer. And it will allow you to be more productive over time. And that will help you to avoid burnout. That is for sure. So, what's, so that's number one. Before you get burnt out, moderation is going to help to avoid that. So let's say you've decided to take a long break because of whatever reasons. I would just gradually get back into it. It's kind of like training. When you want to get your body physically back into the game again, you got to slowly bring it back to where you were. You can't expect the first day you're going to be right back in and it's going to, you're going to be firing on all cylinders. You're not going to stop training for years, let's say in martial arts, and then jump back in, if, you know, many years later, and then, you know, f f assuming that your body is going to respond as it did when you were in tip-top shape. It's not going to happen. Same thing with software development. If you take it along hi hiatus from coding, it'll probably take you, you know, a few days to a week to sort of get back in the, the game again. If you left at a critical time in the software development uh, world where maybe technology has evolved quite a bit in three, four years. I don't know how long your hiatus is. You may find yourself in a situation where you're going to have to relearn a few things. That is happening less and less and less these days because the technology stacks are all far, far, far more mature than they were uh, years ago. Uh, that's the normal cycle of things in any technology in any business sector, you know, sectors could be banking, could be t uh, software development, it could be uh, natural resource, uh, you know, like oil or something. You have different sectors of business. So in the tech space in the early 90s through the 2000s, you had a huge amount of innovation there, huge amount of innovation. And within a year or two, a year and a half, you'd see radical changes in tech, new advances, new tools that developers could leverage, especially in the web space. This, I think, has really plateaued over the last, I'd argue, maybe five years or so, eh, about five years. In the web space, really, we saw when HTML5 became the, the de facto standard, and that's a great thing, that was a huge shift in the web space and that was the last big change you know html5 took over which allowed for uh single page apps allowed for all kinds of technology to evolve flash died and it's pretty much settled in that space the normal players in tech in terms of the technology stack on the back end things like uh uh, Node.js and Java Spring and C Sharp.net, Python Django Flask, PHP, PHP Laravel Symphony. Um, 
Ruby Rails is still around. And there's other solutions, but these things are largely settled, right? If you look at like uh, the web frameworks, they're largely settled. Look at the front end. The front end, you have the usual frameworks. You got the you know, Angular, React, Vue. Getting back on subject, yes, unless you've really left for a long time where you're going to have to relearn a whole new way of thinking, it happened to a friend of mine back in the 90s. He left in the game in like maybe 98, got back into it 2001. And uh, in that short period, well, it was four years, but in that period of time, he saw a huge change where the whole way in which websites were built on the front end totally changed quite a bit. So if you're in that situation where you're coming back into it after a very long hiatus, two, three years, you may have to relearn some new way of thinking about, uh, about the tech space. But, you know, again, these days, you know, if, you've, if you left like two, three years ago, you're going to see not much has changed. You know, we still have DevOps. We still have the same frameworks, front end, back end. The processes are pretty much the same. Maybe Node has lost some of its uh, hype. I don't know. Um, so I would just gradually get back into it, just like an athlete would gradually get back into, uh, into, uh, into whatever sport that they're doing. Don't try to rush it. And uh, if you find that you're uh, a little bored, uh, try to do some coding that's kind of fun for you, maybe. Try to do some coding, or maybe look at coding from a different perspective. Maybe you were uh, looking at coding from the perspective of get, working for people. Maybe you could try a little freelance co coding on the side, do a couple little gigs, you know, get a taste of that, inject something new into your software development world. Maybe try a different framework for fun. Maybe try a different language uh, for fun. Maybe if you were... Uh, Full stack, maybe concentrate on the back end, or maybe if you were uh, back end, maybe concentrate a little on the front end. You know, it's about gradualism, and again, mix that in with a healthy dose of many interests, many interests. Don't just be myopic, narrow focused in your view, because you will burn out. I have a tendency to do that. I've done it twice in two different industries. I did it in my first business which was the uh, soft manufacturing, the, the fish business that I call it. it wasn't just, it was fish, it was products and water for purification products and fish. Um, I got burned out in business because of that. I was a workaholic in my, uh, between uh, 19 through 20, 20 something, 26 or something, or 25. Wow, well, I didn't, did I burn out? No, I took about six months a year off, I think. Not quite a burnout, but then I, I did find myself at one point in the uh, early 2000s. I had enough of coding because I, I just went crazy with coding for seven, eight years, something like that. And uh, I wasn't balanced enough in my life. And that was the reason why. So there you go. I hope that helps. It's, uh, it, you know, you're more specific mental health issues. You know, may want to resolve those mental health issues. I don't know what those are, but again, Eating well, surprisingly, and working out moderately and on a consistent basis. Having a social life. Uh, these three things will go a long way to making your overall life better. If you don't have a healthy body and you don't have a good circle of friends around you, life's not as fun. So I hope that helps. And uh, there you go.